Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. Here we receive water from the sky, rainwater, but additional water enters the farm through this culvert. As an experiment, temporarily, I have placed a tube in there, 25 centimeters, that's 10 inches, and it runs this way. It is quite clear that a lot of water does come this way when one looks at this erosion gully that was formed over many years because of the water that comes from this road and then exits the culvert here and enters our land. If the water goes down, it is too much. It creates a lot of erosion. Now we have three systems, three experiments. Once these things are working in uh, summertime, we will actually use concrete and open canals and make sure it is a permanent structure. So this water we want to divide into three. This top canal the second one second one here and the third one over there. The water that is collected here will go this way and then it enters a swale system uh, in that direction and should this be a lot of water coming this way I will get up usually the rain is in the middle of the night I'll get up and make a hole there and then let it run that way three different canals systems swale systems the most important for us is that the water stays at as high as possible to enter here and then stays on contour to the middle of the farm because it cannot carry on there is a creek that dips down many meters this second diversion is also not perfect because it drops down in this direction we will take it straight that way on contour the third option available to the water coming from this culvert is to follow this old erosion gully uh, two meters deep, 70 meters long, and it took a lot of soil with it. Now, from that point over there, it's about half a meter deep, and uh, as soon as the rain comes, hopefully, we will receive some, quite a lot of clouds in the sky. It's getting cooler as well. Then we will sow all sorts of seeds and uh, hopefully we can rehabilitate this area because uh, that lower part used to be cut off completely and now at least we can walk there. This is the highest swale we have only made this about a week ago. 
We could not do this last year because we had very little rain and I did not know how much water does come through this culvert. But this year we are blessed with regular rain and it gave me the opportunity to read the land, read the water and work accordingly. So this is on contour. The first purpose of this groundwork is to transport the water, more canal orientated. I'm especially proud of this work here. First time we just dig canals and uh, it was very tricky to navigate our way around these beautiful old trees especially this old cork tree cork oak and then we are opening up this canal it was too difficult to get the excavator in here too many roots too steep and now I could use the excavator again here and when the water does reach here it drops into another swale system and then a new swale will start over there here are the second culvert we have also done some work another experiment temporary installation that will be built in a solid way once we know it's working the changes we have made is I have removed the pipe from here it used to be in here I'm preparing a head gate to have here so that I can control the flow of the water and then we have opened that area there should it work I will have a sediment trap there especially for the sand and then the pipe starts over there runs this way and then it enters the swale system over there I'm looking forward to see what does this change bring and what we can enhance a lot of work but at least I feel we're making progress let the rain come here at the creek we have completed our beaver dam and uh, I have a post hammered in here and a post there and then we have this oleander trees here and now we are weaving the wood between these two metal posts and then the oleander and uh, I've just used a chainsaw to cut that trunk shorter and the last remaining piece will come this way and then that sand and this debris can be washed in here exciting times waiting on the rain a few check dams leaky wheels with rocks being built there's one there and it's one under my rickety bridge let's see what that does except giving me backache we have extended the sandboxes 
for our propagation of our plants and uh, we have almost 1400 cuttings in here and this area we also planted lots of seeds asparagus hawthorn and a few citrus especially pomelo uh, where, whenever it's in a straight line then the farmer's wife planted it if it's all over the show then i planted it this is what it looks like inside a lot of these cuttings are producing some leaves but it doesn't mean that they're making uh, roots they're just using the energy that they have within them but hopefully it will also encourage them to have properly uh, roots so that in a year's time we can transplant them this, uh, this is our pond and there is some seepage and uh, therefore I'm still experimenting with the height of the water I can have inside this pond it uh, was full for quite some time and now we have worked on this spillway and it's some rocks and stones here um, again just to see at what level can we peg the height of the water a lot of topsoil on this dam wall and uh, I dug a hole and it looks like the top soil because it's also high clay content integrated well with the clay dam wall I have built let's see again depends on the rain this Hara Sistus brush a lot of flowers last year it had not a single flower and this plant is quite special it can produce seeds without having flowers so this year it's doing its natural thing and we are happy to be part of it till next time goodbye